Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and we are going to make another special feature item for the Mark Journal today. And it's a like a two flap, I don't know what you want to call it, it's, it's a beautiful painting and it's going to be in two flaps that let, raise up and have two hidden pockets stacked under them. So this is the sheet, it's add-on kit, page 13. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these pieces out and then I'll come back. Oh, and I am going to ink them first and then I'll be back. Okay, I've got everything cut out and inked on the outside edges. So now I'm going to take my scoreboard and I'm going to score these tabs. So line these up. those and so this makes this picture see how it goes together so that's going to be on your page like that and then when you raise these up they're each going to have a set of stacked pockets now you can stack them however you want as small as that or you can spread them down and make them wider like that and I'm going to punch them with a circle and I tell you what, I'm going to make a pencil mark on these. I usually just eyeball it, but since they're lined up, they're going to show if you don't get them pretty close. So I'm going to do, so these are like five and an eighth. So two and a half and right in the middle of that is the middle. So that'll help me get these punched in the same place hopefully <laughs> okay so two and a half and then right in the middle of that okay and just cut my little notch and this I am eyeballing but Hopefully that helps me get it centered. Okay. And then I'm going to ink those little notches so they stand out better. Oh, I, I want to do the fold over the um, tab too after you fold your tab. Even though those meet, I still want it to show. Okay. All right, so I'll move the scoreboard out of the way and pick my page. And so this is here, so I kind of want to spread my special features, I'm calling them. I want to spread those out. So I'm going to go ahead and do it on this one because this is a double-sided paper that I added just some scrap of paper and there's so that means I've got four pages that all look alike so I'm happy to use one for this and actually what do I want this to be next to does it matter I don't think it matters I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this side and so I'm going to get this. You want this to be up to the top all the way and all the way to the edge. Again, leaving that space over there by the fold. So I'm going to do this one first. And anytime you've got a tab, you want to get that glue really close to the fold. The rest of it is not as important, but that fold you want to get really good. 
Okay. And kind of slide it around, move that glue around a little bit. Oops, not that much. Oops. Let's see if it's, make sure it's not sticking up. Okay, and then the second flap, you're going to use this to line up this one so that they come together exactly where they're supposed to. Okay, so I'm going to put that right there and push it up against that one. Make sure that it also isn't pinning it down <laughs> and glue that in. Okay, so now we've got our two flaps. And so we probably need to stencil or do some sort of decoration on the inside. You can do whatever you want. I think that I will do some stenciling. So let me grab my stencils and my ink and I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to use red just because there's red on those poppies I think and maybe some gold. And I've got this uh, Tim Holtz stencil. So, here I'll use these. So I think I'll use festive berries. And then um, wild honey, I think. Okay, so I want, let me get a piece of scrap paper. I'm just going to kind of skip around with that and also with the red. And let's see. I don't know if he made, a, made this to repeat. Doesn't look like he did. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I don't think it'll show that it's not perfectly a repeat. <laughs> no, that's fine. Okay. And then I'll do the same thing on this one. Make sure I've got the, the right color here. Get the red. This is a pretty um, stencil. I don't use it that much, and I think I need to. It, I like it. All right. Actually, I'm going to hit this. Hit this a little harder, I think. I like that more intense red. I think that's that one there. No? There it is. Okay. All right. Better. So, um, I am uh, planning on having a knee replacement operation here in the beginning of, well, July 8th is when it's scheduled. So everybody say a prayer for me, please. I've had one done and um, it really helped. I had it done eight years ago and it made all the difference, but I should have had the other one done and I just kept putting it off. I didn't want to go through it again. And so I finally have gotten to a place where I need to get it done. So I'm going to do that. So uh, I think I should have this journal either finished or I will do the v videos 
ahead and put them on schedule them on YouTube so that you guys won't lose any time on finishing this journal so you guys won't miss a beat all right so we've got our flaps on so now we're going to do our pockets and so you want to glue your big pocket in first and then do your little pocket over the top of it so I'm going to line mine up kind of where I think I want them you want to be sure and leave room to tuck things in here and then I'm going to make a little mark here just so when I put the glue on I know where I'm going and put that in and then do the small one And that goes all the way to the bottom like that looks like my little notches line up pretty well that goes there so then you just do this one well let me lay them out here make sure I get them where I want them so that'll go to the bottom that'll go about there make sure I get it straight <laughs> mark it and glue it glue this pocket on and put that down at the bottom line it up all right and then that goes over that and that goes over that and you've got your little special feature for there put that back in the signature all right okay so we are done with the special features the next thing I'm going to do is cut my sheet out with pockets probably so I'll come back next time this sheet so I'm going to cut all these triangles out and ink them and we will do that on the next video so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye